welcome back to another edition of Flow Motion Tutorial. In today's flow, we are going to start in a cross body bottom lateral step number two uh, with the globe pointing down to our straight leg. Uh, we are gonna shoot an arrow over our bent leg and then I'm gonna push the tail down, um, sending the mace upside down, grabbing it thumb down with my opposite hand and stretching my arms up to the sky um, making an I, Y, and a T as if I'm doing a waterfall flow. And then I'm going to continue all the way down so the, the uh, tail comes right down into landmark number one and I'm going to grab it underhand with my free hand. And then I'm going to give a little tug and turn the mace upright. From here, I'm going to flip the grip of my top hand so that I can go into a 360, but I'm not going to let the 360 come all the way back to warrior stance. So I'm going to do 360. When it comes parallel to the ground, I'm going to switch the grip of my bottom hand so that I'm in an under underhand grip. So like this. So you catch it so you're in an offset. You can slide your uh, mid hand up a little bit on the mace. Offset, under underhand grip. And now I'm going to push off my loaded leg so that I'm lunging away from the weighted, uh, the weighted end. While I stand up, I'm going to release the hand that's in the middle of the mace and I'm going to hold the tail end and I'm going to let the mace swing. Now this next part we're doing a shoulder roll. It's a little bit scary at first. If you want to uh, use your free hand to block, go ahead. Um, so from this stance, we're going to let the momentum of the globe swing all the way around and we're going to catch it on the back of our shoulder. Just like that. Again, if you want to use your free hand, go ahead. If you stick your elbow out a little bit to create a bigger landing strip, it's a little bit less scary. This one just takes a bit of practice. Now, if you want to use your guide hand, go ahead. Or if you are able, again, this part's a little bit scary, just takes a little bit of practice. You gotta trust yourself. You're gonna release the tail hand, and as the globe starts to fall down, you're gonna catch it so that you're in a sword up position. From here, we're going to go into a wrist circle. So you're gonna loosen your grip so that you've got an okay grip. So you're just holding it with your pointer finger and thumb and let the tail swing all the way around. And as it comes up, we continue into a lunge in landmark number one, rotated. From here, I'm gonna rainbow the mace over to the other side. As I open my hips up to the back wall, everything opens up and then I just continue the rainbow down onto the other side. So now I'm in a lunge facing the opposite wall. From here, I'm going to bring my tail hand up to the globe so that I'm in this mid guard position, grab the tail and shoot an arrow behind me. As I step up, I'm going to scoop the mace head down in front of me and then flip it back so that the tail's out front and the globe is on my shoulder. Now the globe is on my left shoulder I am going to press up like I'm doing an Arnold's press. So I'm rotating from my palm facing in to my palm facing forward. And as I do that, I'm going to raise my uh, front leg or the same leg that the same side that the mace is in. So press up into a tall stance. Now, whichever leg is pressed up, that is the leg that's going to step back. As I lower the mace down, you have to get nice and low here so that you can send the tail underneath your legs, grabbing it in an underhand grip and pulling the mace through back into your warrior stance. If you're able, you're going to continue and do a 360 in this lunge position and then just slide your hands apart as you pivot to the front in a lateral lunge. From here, we're going to go into a sun cradle. So we're gonna go bottoms up, sword cradle right here. Then we're gonna take the globe overhead Using the globe as an access point, we're going to send the tail from one arm behind you to the other arm, laying the sun down, come back to that sword cradle, back to the bottoms up, and now we're going to go all the way up behind your head. So from here, from this bottoms up position, you're going to rotate, the tail comes in front of you, all the way up behind your head. You're going to take your pointer finger and thumb and wedge it in between the globe and push off your supporting leg. So you're gonna step behind as you pull 
the mace out. So it's like this arrow that's shooting out from behind your head. Now, you're going to take the globe as you step back out to step number two. Send the globe down to the bent leg. Grab it with the opposite hand and then shift your weight away as you slide the weight up to the other side. And then you are in the other side to start the flow all over again. So, message me with any questions. Um, tag me if you try this. And always flow on, my friends. You got to find yourself another piece of the action because you're crazy. You're crazy.